Indian Muslim student girls wearing hijab barred from classes at Indian college. An Indian kingdom has shut high faculties and faculties for three days after a row over the hijab that has won worldwide attention after Nobel Prize winner Malala Yousafzai waited. The authorities of Karnataka state in southern India took this election after protests via students over Muslim girls carrying headscarves inside the classroom escalated into violence. On Wednesday, the country's high court, which turned into listening to petitions filed on behalf of some of the Muslim women, requested the Chief Justice to install a larger bench to deliberate the matter. The developments befell after protests by means of 6 teenage students at a government-run university over wearing hijabs spread to other colleges. Several Hindu students then grew to become up carrying saffron shawls, the coloration visible as a Hindu symbol, to protest in opposition to Muslim ladies wearing hijabs. Udupi hijab issue, the Indian girls fighting to put on hijab in college India row over the right to put on hijab deepens on Tuesday, Malala, who become 15 whilst she survived an assault by way of the Taliban in Pakistan for speaking up for the right of girls to be educated, known as on India's leaders to do something to stop the marginalization of Muslim women. Refusing to permit ladies to pass to the high school of their hijabs is frightening, the 24-year vintage activist tweeted. Objectification of women persists, for sporting less or greater. In India, the standoff has improved worry and anger among minority Muslims, who say the use of ace charter offers them the liberty to wear what they need. On Tuesday, viral motion pictures confirmed a Muslim female being heckled by a mob of younger men shouting slogans, and heated arguments between students carrying hijabs and saffron shawls. How did the row start? The issue commenced gaining attention when six teenage students at a central authority-run pre-university university, equal to an excessive college, in Karnataka's Udupi district started out protesting over being barred from lessons for carrying a hijab. Udupi is one of three districts in Karnataka's communally touchy coastal vicinity, a stronghold of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's proper wing Bharatiya Janata Party. Commentators frequently describe the place as a laboratory for majoritarian Hindu politics. The BJP is also in electricity in Karnataka. The college stated it allowed college students to wear the hijab on campus and most effectively requested them to take it off within the lecture room. But the protesters, who all wear the necessary college uniform, argued they should additionally be allowed to cowl their hair within the lecture room. We have some male teachers. We need to cover our hair earlier than men. That is why we put on a hijab. The students denied allegations that they have been performing at the behest of the Campus Front of India, the scholar wing of the novel Islamic institution, Popular Front of India, who had been advocating for them. Beatman humiliated for being a Muslim in India It's not unusual to see ladies sporting hijabs and burqas in India, where public displays of symbols of faith are common. But the university major said it turned into essential for the trainer to peer the pupil's face and the uniform helped them make certain there has been no discrimination amongst students. Repeated meetings between the students, university officers, and government representatives could not solve the standoff. How did it spread to other colleges? The issue of Muslim women wearing hijabs had cropped up in a few other colleges in Karnataka earlier too, but it started gaining momentum when photos of the women protesters in Udupi went viral. Soon, Hindu students in some other colleges began coming to classes wearing saffron shawls, this forced officials to insist that both could not be allowed on campus. Last week, a video showing gates being shut on a group of hijab-clad students, shot at a pre-university college in Kundapur in the Udupi district, had led to outrage. Groups of Hindu students, both male and female, also began going on marches against their classmates wearing hijabs. But there was no violence until Tuesday. Hours before the court began hearing the petition, incidents of stone throwing and even arson were reported from some cities. Local authorities imposed Section 144, a colonial era law that prohibits the gathering of more than four people in one place, to curb the protests. In the Shivamaga district, a group of male students was caught on camera hoisting a saffron flag at their college, prompting the government to announce an inquiry. In Mandya district, a viral video showed a young woman wearing a hijab being approached by a mob of men with saffron shawls. As they yelled Jai Shri Ram repeatedly, she stood her ground, shouting Allahu Akbar as college authorities escorted her away. Later, the woman, identified as Muska, said her college principal assured her that he would support her. 
A few other Muslim girls were also heckled in a similar manner. The college administration and the principal never prevented us from wearing the burqa, so why should I listen to outsiders? She told the Indian Express newspaper. A senior police official told the media that these were all minor incidents and that the situation was in control. What has the state government said? Karnataka Education Minister Nagesh B.C. has backed college authorities who say both saffron scarves and headscarves should be banned on campuses. He has also alleged that the students are being instigated to protest by miscreants. It's basically politics. All this is happening because state assembly elections are due next year, Mr. Nagesh told media, referring to attempts by the Popular Front of India's political wing to gain traction in the region. Chief Minister Basavaraj Jespamai and the state's home minister have urged the students and others to maintain peace and harmony. What did the court say? On Wednesday, Justice Krishna Dixit, who was hearing two petitions filed on behalf of the Muslim women protesters, said that the matter should be referred to a larger bench. Having regard to the enormity of questions of importance which are debated, the court is of the considered opinion that the papers be put at the hand of the Chief Justice to decide if a larger bench can be constituted in the subject matter, said the judge, legal news website Live Law reported. Of the two petitions, one argues that choosing what to wear is a fundamental right guaranteed by India's constitution. The other questions the legality of a recent state government dress code order for educational institutions, which bans headscarves and hijabs. Their lawyer had argued that the government's order on banning the hijab was both unconstitutional and illegal, he had also asked the court to pass an interim order that would allow the students to attend classes ahead of exams. According to Live Law, Justice Dixit also said that the petitioners could seek interim relief after the Chief Justice took a decision on forming a larger bench, 